Hey guys, uh, how are you? Uh, I hope you you uh, in good good condition. Uh, today uh, we're gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna make a video uh, on how to uh, create user forms and how to uh, unload previous user forms when uh, a new user form is loaded. Okay. So we're gonna create uh, multiple user forms. First, we're gonna need to go to Developer and activate Visual Basic Windows. You can press the, this button right here, or you can use uh, the shortcut key Alt plus uh, F11. Okay. Once in you're in a uh, uh, Visual Basic window. Click insert user form because we're, we're gonna need a uh, user form. So, form one uh, for this example, we're gonna create a uh, three user form. So, again, user form okay. Besides it, uh, now you see in this window we got we, we already have a uh, three user form. User form one, user form two, and user form three. Okay, go to. We're going to first user form up here. So <coughs> let's assume you have next button right here with command button. I'm gonna change the caption to next. So the idea is when you click, when we click this button right here, the second user form will be loaded. And uh, this user form, this first user form, user form one, uh, will be unloaded, will be hidden. Okay, so go on to user form two. We're gonna create uh, another comment button. We're gonna change it to next. Other comment button right here. Change caption to back so with the back button right here when we click the back button uh, this user form user form 2 will be unloaded and the user form 1 will be loaded again just like that simple so the same as user form 3 in the user form 3 we only need one button the back button because we uh, don't have another user form to show that oops sorry it's the comment button we need to rename the, the we need to change the caption. Okay. Now, back to this. Back to user form one. All you need to do is click the double click the next button right here. Boom. We're gonna need uh, to type this uh, code right here. Is user form one. This user form current user form will be hidden with user form one dot height okay then after the user form one hit hidden we're gonna need to load user form two with code user form two dot show there now Gonna check. Oh, right. User form one is gone. So form two is loaded. Yeah, it doesn't work right now. So we're going. We're going back to this user form. Back to user form two. 
on the back button we're going to unload the user form 2 and load the user form 1 there and, and in the next button we're gonna unload user form 2 and close the user form uh, open the user form 3 sorry same as user form 3 in the back button we're going to unload user form 3 that type user form 2 show there now, we're going to try it Okay, next, no. back, okay, it worked, next, it worked, back, it worked. Okay, I think that will be all the easy, the easiest tutorial on how to load and unload uh, previous and next user forms using a simple uh, VBA code okay see you again in the next tutorial video bye